Hey guys, Portia here and today I'm working on a cell phone holder for myself. I initially made one for my daughter and I did a review on the mold because I had never used it before. So this will be the second one that I'm making. I really make things for myself so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to personalize something for me. So I will be working in layers and embedding a couple of print then cut images into the layers. So let's just go ahead and move into layer one. Alright y'all, we're going on to the second layer. So it has been about 18 hours. I am starting with a clear layer on the top half of the piece. The bottom half is going to have silver flakes. So it's going to be the resin and I'll put some silver flakes in it. And then we're going to add in a purple rose. Now let me tell y'all about this rose. I cut the rose out on my Cricut using the print thin cut setting. Um, I did use dark transfer paper because that's all I really had on hand. I could have used plain old white printer paper, but I knew the transfer paper was going to be just a little bit more sturdier. Now to keep my colors from bleeding, I went on ahead and used a clear acrylic sealer and I did two coats of that on top of each one of the images that I'm going to use in this piece. Okay, so it has been about eight hours since the last pour. So that's where we got our little rose embedded. You notice the edges of the rose started to curl. So I think that was a little cute effect. And this time we're gonna go ahead and add in our butterfly. And again, it has already been coated in the clear acrylic sealer. Um, the surface is uh, slightly still tacky, so I'm not going to have to put the resin um, down first with this one. And to the last and final layer, I'm just adding a little bit of iridescent glitter just to give it a slight sparkle as if I don't have enough. So it has been over 18 hours since the final layer was poured and it's completely hard so I am ready to demold. No bending or anything. Oh god, I'm getting fingerprints everywhere. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this puppy out. Okay, I am so in love with the sparkly sparkly. All right, and I'm 
All right. Oh gosh, guys, that is so pretty. I don't know if the bling is coming through, but it is so real. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy in its natural habitat. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like all put together. And I love how thick it is because I know some people are not having um, luck with their cell phone holder mold. But this one is thick, not flimsy at all. Um, I made sure I mix my ratios properly. Um, it has been curing, well, the last layer, probably about 18 um, hours, but I did start this project on a Thursday, demoted on a Sunday. Um, but we have no bending or anything like that. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And this is what it looks like with my cell phone on it. Uh, can you tell I love butterflies? But um, yeah, guys, this is all I have for you guys today. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. Go ahead and subscribe to Color Me Portia. But until next time, peace.